So what I'm going to invite you to do first of all is close your eyes if you haven't already. And just move your hand to your heart space, your chest. And just take in a really deep, gentle breath. And as you let it out, just let everything go. just noticing where you might be holding tension in your body now and just continuing to breathe that sacred breath really the thing that connects us all to every living thing on the planet And if you've been feeling strange aches and pains or changes in your diet recently or in your body, it's not a surprise. Existing in the quantum field, you are not just living in this lifetime, in this space and time, you're across dimensions and things will be releasing as we're moving into this fifth dimension. people are becoming less um, in their head and more connected. And just breathing with your hand on that heart space and just sinking, sinking into your heart and thinking, how does it feel in there? sad, lonely, calm, anxious. I'm just finding a way now to express love and gratitude towards yourself. You really are a divine miracle, whether you realize that or not. You have the infinite potential for anything. The only thing that's getting in the way is your programming. And just tapping into your own divine nature. Wherever that is right now, however that feels for you, is fine. There is no right or wrong in this. You might be feeling your vibration is very low, or very high, or slow, or erratic. It's all fine, it's just information. Just finding yourself in a comfortable position. You can invite in the energies of any loved one or ancestors at this time to be with you in your space. people, guides, angels, however you feel. I've already set a boundary of protection around us all, connecting us all before we began. And just bringing into your imagination the idea that this new moon is a blank canvas. A sort of vision board 
where you can paint and pin and draw your intentions. And with a commitment and willingness to get clear on what you want for your long term. Goals, projects. And you might find that you already have an intention for today or for the next phase going forward. I'm just seeing if anything does come up for you. And new moons are a fantastic time for sowing seeds and beginning practices and projects. Has anything been coming up for you in the last few days? Any patterns in thought or behavior? Anything that's particularly difficult or uncomfortable to address? So before we move on to some journaling prompts and then a, a nice meditation to get you clear and get you on your way. I'm just gonna tell you a bit more about Taurus and if you are aware where you may have Taurus in your chart, that can be some useful information for you. As you may find that this moon is particularly potent if you have strong Taurus in your chart. Taurus is my moon sign, for example. So ruled by Venus and represented as the bull, you know, Venus being about love and pleasure and money. And this area of your life kind of focusing on money, material possessions and things of value, external value. So this is a really nice time to make sure that you make some time for yourself or some comfort, some luxury, if you can. Nice things to look at, getting in touch with your senses. It's been such an intense time. You deserve to stop and take a break. Using your senses, getting outside. just take your time there's no rush everything is already going fast enough you don't have to rush so finding a way to slow down and reflect what do you want to immerse yourself in going forward for the rest of this year before making any major changes. Just stop, we'll look around, feel into what you're considering. Taurus being a sign of kind of digging the heels in. Once you've set your intention, the energy of this moon is going to help you achieve that. 
in this phase and for the next six months. It's a really magical portal really that's opened up and that's why it felt important to do this ceremony tonight because the overwhelm is overwhelming. There's also the planets of Pluto and Neptune um, at this time, which um, have positive effects, but opposing effects. <laughs> so they can amplify your determination. And so it's important that you, it's important what you focus on. What you focus on is going to manifest. So if you focus on the fear and not having the people, places, situations, whatever in your life, that is what is going to manifest. The things are coming around so rapidly. I watched people today where I was working and how quickly somebody would say something. Unfortunately for her, they were negative things. She would say it and it would break. It would happen, it would come through. Um, really amazing. And I thought, yeah. Nancy, pay attention to your life, <laughs> pay attention to your thoughts. So just make sure you're doing that for yourself. So I think um, it goes to say that this is very fertile ground for creating a concrete change. And it's also a beautiful time to get into your intuition and to honor in a mindful way where you've come from and what feels right intuitively going forward. Menos mente, más corazón. Less mind, more heart. So you can use this time to make some plans, but don't get too attached because things are moving so fast. Daydream, that's what I always say, daydream. Be a child again. <sighs> okay, I wrote down some journaling prompts to go through. And just, these were channeled. Everything seems to be channeled these days. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a couple of things to think about. I'm just making a note of what comes to mind. What practices in your mind, your body, your spiritual practices have been helpful to you? in the past. What practices have been helpful to you in your past? And have you been keeping up with those? If not, why not? And how can you find a way to bring those back in to your present moment? What represents abundance to you? What does that word mean to you? Is it physical, financial, a state of being? What does it look like or what does it feel like for you?
and ask yourself, am I generous with myself and with others? Who do I love who is generous and how does that make me feel? And what do you really value? And are you living your life in accordance with those values? After everything you've been through and everything you've learned, particularly in the last year, two years, what do you really value? And are you living in accordance with those values? to three things retrospectively. So you're going to imagine it's a month from now and you're writing about what you have manifested into your life. So imagining it's the next new moon ceremony and you're looking back and you think, holy moly, in May, I manifested X, Y, Z. So write about it as if it's happened already and it's behind you and with you. Feeling all of those good feelings. That's it, raising those vibrations. I can feel it, well done. All of that heaviness behind you. All of that worry, that programming, all of that work you did. Done. Enjoying yourself for a little while. I'm just sinking into how that makes you feel. And if it doesn't feel good, that's fine. It's information, it's interesting. You are a being, busy, just being. So just be. So if you haven't done already, just get yourself into a really comfortable position, sitting or lying down. You can put the journal to the side. I'm 
and just let whatever surface you are sitting or lying on just support you. The Divine Mother, Pashamama, supporting you. And letting out a big sigh. Maybe do this two or three times if you feel called to. And we're just going to do a body scan, which means drawing your attention to your body and either starting at the tip of your head or the tip of your toes, just visualizing a scan coming up or down across your physical body. And you may perceive some different colors, some shading, some aches and pains. Just noticing. Some emotions may be trapped. allowing yourself to sort of let go of your body for a moment, coming into your consciousness and divine being that has always existed and will always exist. And just perceiving a beautiful white light coming through from source or the heavens, however you picture the be all and end all. It's coming down through the sky, through the stars, clouds. filtering through any layers of noise, electromagnetic frequency and just into the top of your head. And just perceive that light as a healing quality bathing you, around you, your energy around you and also into every cell and fibre of your being and anywhere you noticed any shadows or aches and pains or difficulties in the body that white light is just allowing that to move through Exhaling anything you don't need through your breath or through the soles of your feet. None of that belongs to you. Doesn't matter where it goes, just sending it back to source, to transmute. Just noticing now. If 
you have any energetic ties that are draining your energy, any ties or hooks into your body, your energy field, and you can just gently go through them. Untying or unhooking. Sending them back to where they came from. And the white light healing any wounding left. And you may or may not understand where they've come from. And that's fine. Maybe from this lifetime, a story, or maybe not. Some may be painful. Some may be quite stuck. So just be gentle with yourself in this process. If any particular associations or words with any of these chords, it's just information. You don't need to attach too much. feeling more powerful and energized now. Just recalling any ties or hooks or cords that you have left in others. Just perceive them. You don't need to know necessarily to whom or what they are attached, but just calling them back gently. anything that you want to say out loud to release any of that energy if you feel safe and inspired to do so say it say it to that person if you feel angry or sad or hurt Claim your voice, claim your power. And 
and just letting your heart open. doing great. Just releasing whatever you need to release still. Just calling in your higher power. This may be a godlike figure, your future higher self, somebody unexpected. But calling in an energy of love and compassion and nurturing towards you. An energy that can envelop you. And help you to restore any energy that you may have lost through difficult times. In the same way you charge your phone, you're getting recharged now. Just seeing your energy bars increasing, or your little love hearts increasing. And getting into that feeling of, oh, I remember who I am. without all the conditioning, the external, static frequency, I remember who I am. And connecting with that however you can, however you do. Perhaps perceiving yourself as an energetic body, an element, an angel, a light. Raising your vibration. Indefinable. Indestructible. 
indefinite. And you may be releasing now, crying, shaking, or yawning, sneezing, it's all perfect. And just call in now a future or higher version of you to come in for a chat, a pep talk. You can tell them how you feel or how you've been feeling. You can tell them what you need. You can ask them for advice. Just take a minute. Use all of your five senses to really absorb everything about this other fragment of you. It already exists. to be embodied, to be of assistance to you in the here and now.
And if you could make one wish right now with your future higher self present to assist you and the power of the planets behind you. What do you want to bring about into your reality? And just say it out loud to yourself. to make that manifest. The first thing that comes up that may seem random, wacky, surreal, it doesn't matter. just taking yourself into a warm embrace of love and compassion and feeling that future higher self dissolving back into you Just noticing a sense of greater completion, the feeling of that. I'm taking a moment for another body scan. And recognizing now fewer, if any, energy leaks. Sealing your energy within your own sacred space. Embodying your own power. Just with your consciousness thinking about how do you look now? You look different. You feel different. to tune in to a feeling of love and gratitude. That 
perhaps thinking about a person or a situation, a synchronous situation that led you to something wonderful that really helps you to feel lit up and grateful, raising your frequency even higher now. beyond this present space and time that we perceive. Just sending your vibration all the way up. Up and out into the sky. Connecting with the highest frequencies available. Connecting with cosmic grid. Connecting with yourself. Connecting with the Schumann Resonance. All the fear and all the low vibrations are so far below you now. It's just not yours. And so aware now that you are a conscious creator, able to observe patterns and people and situations in your life as a means to your own evolution. You are so much greater than you think you are. Always coming from a place of love. Just allowing that feeling to sink into your heart space. Perhaps perceiving it as a color. Coming into your heart space and permeating through your system. abundant healing energy of love. Venus energy, always with you, the morning star and the evening star, she's there for you. I'm 
and feeling your way back into your body. That Taurian earthy energy. Feeling your roots. Your roots sinking into the earth, grounded and supported, nurtured and held. inspired in the heavens, grounded to the earth. And just seeing if any final messages come through for you now. You may feel or perceive them inside or outside of you. See if anything comes through, an image, a feeling, a sound. Something to be deciphered. Just tell yourself, using your name, that you love yourself. I love you, Nancy, whoever. And thank yourself for showing up. You've come a long way, baby. And just bringing yourself more back into your body now. Still with your eyes closed, becoming aware of your surroundings. I'm gonna count from five up to one. So five, just feeling the surface of where you're sitting or lying. Four, beginning to feel the edges of your body. Three, taking a nice deep breath. Two, maybe noticing that you need to move your mouth. Get the saliva going. Feeling your eyes moving beneath your eyelids and one, just opening your eyes. And taking a little look around. And maybe you want to stretch or move.
and we're just going to sit here for a while. And in a moment, I'm going to close the ceremony. So. If you have your own sprays or perfumes that you want to use now to bring you back into your senses, send you some. Shoo! Shoo! 